Hello and welcome to 100% Gym. Firstly, if you are new around here, welcome to you and you should definitely subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on everything that is 100% Gym. Today we will be creating a thumbnail for a viral video in a free program called paint.net. This video is in collaboration with Rob over at Modify who has modified a Nerf gun into a Nerf smart gun turret controlled with an app on his smartphone. You really need to see the video, it is really cool. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. Check it out and also subscribe to his channel as well. Okay, let's get straight into the video. I will teach you how to make a viral thumbnail, but remember, not all videos are going to be viral straight away or ever. A video that has over 1 million views and is on a channel where the views are much normally less could be considered a viral video. These videos are good because they attract many more views and subscribers to your channel which will help it grow and can also have financial rewards. Beware, do not get disheartened if your video does not go viral in the short term. Sometimes it takes over a year for a video to go viral or it may never go viral at all. Just remember, stay consistent and keep creating content and one day you'll make it. I would like to tell you more, but there are many factors and the thumbnail is just one part of a viral YouTube video. Here are some examples of viral thumbnails. Mr. Beast's channel was unknown for years, but when he found his niche and when he spent time making his thumbnails clickable, he just ex loaded so you know your thumbnails must be very ridiculous and clickable but you also need to think about your content tags and titles and ask yourself is my video entertaining first you'll need to set up the correct high resolution size for a youtube thumbnail which is 1280 by 720 pixels do that by selecting image resize and changing the pixels and click ok then you will need to create some layers just like Shrek, good thumbnails are like onions and have layers. You will then need to use your imagination to select an image and think about how you want the thumbnail to look. Remember, when you are thinking, it needs to be punchy, clickable and tell an interesting story. A quick tip is when you resize the image, hold the shift key and it will keep the aspect ratio. Next, you will need to delete the background image. You can do this by selecting the rubber tool and changing it to a large size. As you delete the image, make the rubber smaller and smaller the closer you get to the subject until all traces of the background are gone. Next, I copy the image of the app and put it roughly where I want on its own layer. It is important to remember which layer you're on because when things go wrong, it's normally because you're on the wrong layer. Now I need to find someone holding a phone. That's where Google comes in. Where possible, try to find a copyright free image to use in your thumbnail or just take one yourself. Now I place the phone image on its own layer and start lining up and rotating the images and making it look like the app is on the phone using the rubber, the eyedropper colour selector and paint brush tools to fix any mistakes. Here's a handy tip. To easily rotate an image, move the mouse just outside the selection until the cursor changes and drag. Zoom in and out on your image using Ctrl plus the mouse wheel. You can also pan up and down on a zoomed image using the mouse wheel and left and right using Shift in the mouse wheel. At this point, I decide I want to chop the turret in half and put the other half on its own layer because I want to add special effects to illustrate how the turret works with the app. I make one of the layers semi-transparent as a guide to line things up. Then it's off to Google again to find some free to use special effects. I finally decide on an electric pulse with a clear background and load it up on its own layer. I make a copy of the electric and put that on its own layer. Now I can make it look cool. Let's drop the beat. Defend the objective. Defend the objective. Defend the objective. 
Okay, finally we're nearly finished. A little effect here and there, drop shadow plugin. I'll just put these nerf bullets in. Yes, using a blur effect on two of them as well. Looks so nice. Good contrasting background now, you're starting to look perfect. Then the unthinkable happens. Jim, it's Rob, mate. Um, you're gonna hate me for this one. Um, I updated the app. I had this ace idea, like, how am I gonna aim this gun? So then I thought, I know, I'll add a flashlight and a laser beam to it. Because everyone loves laser beams. So I added it to it. But the problem is, I've kind of changed the app. So is there any chance you could update the thumbnail? For frack's sake. Now I have to do hours more deleting for the upgraded gun. Okay, now I've got to delete the old turret and get to work deleting the, the background on the old gun. For frack's sake. Okay, I didn't really mind. I deleted the background on the new upgraded gun and correctly placed it back in the scene. Then added effects, object, drop shadow for the white outline after I added photo, sharpen plus to make it look a little bit more crisp. Oh, by the way, if you are missing any plugins like drop shadow, please try looking on Google or click my download link in the description. I also added a red line for the red dot and made it blurry using effects blurs and did a few more finishing touches. Anyway, I hope you liked it. I did actually change the background as well. So um, I think it was one with Rob's kids running away from a century gun. So that was pretty cool. But anyway, please subscribe for more tutorials. This is part of my playlist. So you want to be a YouTuber? Please check it out. Also, definitely check out Rob's video over at Modify. He's also making a cool how-to video that will show you exactly how to make this awesome, highly modified Nerf gun and exactly what parts and tools you will need. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, stay. 100% real. Stay 100% gym. See you later.